Hello, welcome to Soul Print Intuitive Tarot. Um, this reading that I'm doing is for the element of air signs. And so that would be for Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I'm going to do a bit of an energy and influence reading for the month of May to see what it is that um, air signs are going to be dealing with in the coming month. So give these a couple more shuffles and I hope for you um, Aquarius, Geminis, and Libras, I hope that you enjoy this reading and that you find something helpful and useful in it for you. So let's bring the camera down and see what universe and spirit has to tell you about the month of May. Let's give it one more final shuffle. And this is for all three signs. And then after I've done this, I will do uh, small four card readings for each of the air signs. But this is a general one for all three air signs. So let's see what we see. So your signifier card is the four of cups. So this cup, it, it, or this card often um, sort of represents a feeling of, of melancholy, kind of like you are grateful for what you have. You want something else. You want something more. And there's a sense of sadness or even perhaps frustration that you don't seem to be able to bring the energy of what it is you're looking for into your life or you haven't been able to up until now. So this is just a little bit of melancholy, a little bit of sadness. Let's see if you're going to shake that off as um, we go through into the um, month of May. Well, uh, yeah, you are. Okay, so for air signs, we have um, your signifier card, as I said, representing um, just some melancholy, some sadness, perhaps things not moving along as quickly as you would like or in exactly the direction you would like. And that is sort of giving you a feeling of frustration and a feeling of um almost like having to um, fight your own war. Um, there's a sense with the Five of Swords that you are just kind of coming to the end of a battle or the end of a period that felt very difficult, um, felt like perhaps you were being attacked. And this energy that's moving in um, is sort of like you taking control of that situation and saying, you know what? No, um, I'm in charge of, of my life and my choices and my decisions, and I'm going to stay in charge. And that's just how it's going to be. And that appears to be um, a significant turning point or a significant uh, line to draw in the sand or, or foot to put down, um, because that is followed by the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is almost always, and certainly in this case, indicative of a happy and fulfilled emotional state. It, it, the Ten of Cups talks about your home being happy, um, having enough. You feel abundant, you feel loved, you feel as if things are in place, have fallen into place, and it is, it is a time of happiness and uh, stability, you know, it feels very much like things have fallen into place and you're really good with them falling into place. And that is followed by the world. So the world card, uh, specifically, especially following the 10 of cups, is telling me that one aspect or area of your life has wrapped up now or is right on the verge of wrapping up and you're going to be moving on to a new project, something that um, is interesting for you, exciting for you, something that you will be successful in. And the world card can really um, cover 
every single aspect of your life. So um, this may be in relation to wands, which would be your creativity and your self-expression and your passion. It might be in regard to uh, the water symbol. So that would be about your sensitivity and your imagination, um, perhaps getting serious about writing that book or that diary. It could be the earth where you are dealing with um, you know, money and possessions, responsibilities, um, practical logistical steps that are being taken. And it can be air signs um, or swords, which would be talking about the intellect, the, the logical, the analytical, um, the mind. So in one of these areas, so it can be in relationships, it can be in a job, it can be in a creative project you're working on. It can have to do with, you know, property or possessions, but there is definitely a sense that one area is wrapping up so that it can start new um, and start fresh. You're moving down a new path um, that appears to be a little bit brighter and um, perhaps even puts you in the spotlight in, in some way. So, I'm going to now do little card, five card, four card readings on um, the separate signs. So I'm going to start with Aquarius. So this, what this does, is this will just drill down a little bit on um, what we've just spoken about with with the this spread, and we're going to see what it is that the universe would like to share with us for Aquarius. The Aquarians um, air signs. Let's take a look and see what we can um, find out. Okay, so and one cut. Get that out of the way. And one cut. So, Aquarius. Let's take a look and see what um, the universe is sharing with us. So we have, ooh, okay, we have the Queen of Wands, and we also have um, the Three of Swords coming out at the same time, so I will read them together or as um, a pair. You have the Five of Swords showing up again. We have the Page of Wands, and we have the Six of Pentacles. So the Three of Wands, typically talks about disappointment or heartbreak, sadness, um, and sometimes separation. Sometimes it's representative of uh, a situation where there is an unwanted or undesirable separation between two people. So it's possible, Aquarians, that you could have recently experienced some sadness. You may not have... Um, some people close by your side right now. There may be some disappointment. It's, this event has sort of thrown your sense of balance off a, a little bit. Um, it's like you're finding your footing uh, again or anew. And this Queen of Wands here is, is telling you that you have some really um, good friendships. You have friendships where there is, you know, warmth and vibrancy, it's support, and that um, that that energy will be coming into your life or is a part of it and it is inspiring you and moving you forward out of the heartache into a period that has more to do with creativity and self-expression, some new ideas coming up. There's just a sense of this is done and I'm moving forward. The Five of Swords has again showed up. So this is a really strong message that um, there are situations in your life, perhaps where you have really had to um, bear down 
in terms of really following the logical path where you have had to be very analytical, um, multitask, try to find balance, communicate. There's a lot of communication going on here, a lot of um, things being said, perhaps friction and stress. But that is, you are moving away from that now and you are moving into um, a time of really mm, sort of things changing and, and moving along quite quickly. The page of wands, you know, it often represents messages arriving sort of quickly, unexpectedly. It talks about an energy that is not sort of tied down, an energy that feels like exploring some options and exploring a direction that you want to go in, bringing something new into your creative expression. And the Six of Pentacles is talking about a balance. It's talking about receiving goods and giving goods. It's talking about having enough to take care of your needs and in fact even possibly being able to either share and or receive um, in terms of gifts and uh, um, support. So very, very interesting Aquarius. It definitely looks like some of the sadness and some of the, the stressors or difficulties are moving away. They are now in a past position and you seem to be moving into a time of a little bit more abundance, a little more freedom and a feeling of um, wanting to start new projects, consider new ideas, new ways of um, handling situations. You're doing things and watch out for those um, swiftly arriving messages and information coming your way. So Aquarius, I'm hoping that that is helpful. Perhaps it has given you just a little bit more insight into what um, you can expect for the month of May. And we're going to move on now to Gemini and see what it is that um, the universe has to say to Gemini with regards to the month of May and some of the energies that you will be dealing with or experiencing. So for Gemini, for the month of May, we're focusing on the air sign Gemini and the month of May. We're going to do one cut and see what um, we can drill down on in terms of Gemini's energy and the energies they will be dealing with for May. So, awesome, you are starting this reading with the Ten of Cups, which also appeared in the Aquarius reading. So, again, you now, Gemini, seem to be sitting in a position where you're feeling, you know, fairly comfortable. You're feeling secure. You're feeling emotionally, um, you know, balanced and happy. It is a peaceful time for you. So, it seems as if right now what is overarching is this sense of well-being and um, I don't want to say serenity, but certainly a sense of calm um, as if you have things in order and things are kind of going along the way you would like them to go along. And here has showed up the Six of Pentacles um, and those cards were really well shuffled. So it's interesting that we've got some repeat energy here. So again, the Six um, of Pentacles is talking about um, this ability to share and receive, ability to give and take, and that there is a balance um, coming for you, particularly in terms of finances or um, possessions. You have the Four of Swords here, and so that is talking about a time of retreat, a time of rest, recovery perhaps, a need to uh, take care, you know, literally make sure you get enough sleep, make sure you're hydrating properly, um, uh, needing to keep your um, energy reserves close at hand for times that you're going to need them going forward. And you have the two of pentacles here, and that's talking about a need to achieve balance. 
a need to juggle uh, two opposing forces and try to keep them balanced and try to keep things stabilized. So this could be talking about, you know, a work a home balance. It could be talking about a relationship balance. Um, it could be talking about a balance, uh, balancing financing or, or that kind of thing. But there's definitely a need. So, so this is interesting because you have such a powerful and positive card over, overarching you. And yet there seems to be this sense of, um, things not being quite as smooth as they appear on the surface, Gemini. So there seems to be a little bit of anxiety and a need for rest, a need to achieve a better balance so that you can find yourself in a place where you can really let this 10 of cups shine and um, bring in that positive and happy and abundant and loving energy into your circle. Now I'm going to move on to Libra and we're going to give these cards another good shuffle and we're going to take a look at energy for the month of May for the sign of Libra and see what additional information we might be able to, to uh, bring forward with regards to Libras and the month of May. So here we go. And let's just take a look at what we've got Libras. Okay, so you're starting off with the um, Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is, you know, this Knight is a hardworking Knight this knight is loyal, he is reliable, he is there for you, he is watching over you. So this card, Libra, is representing the energy that is um, umbrella in you. It is the energy that you are being sort of kept safe, um, being protected, being kept... Um, almost um, just safe, cocooned. And I'm not sure why, perhaps these cards will let us know why there is a need for that knight to be um, right there sort of supporting and helping you. And we have the three of swords here. And again, we just read this card um, a little bit earlier in the general air sign um, reading, I believe. If I've got that wrong, it was in the fire signs. But in any case, the Three of Swords is talking about a little bit of heartache, perhaps undesired separation. It is talking about a situation that has caused some pain, some difficulty, some disappointment, or a sense of um, separation that was not um, wanted. So it appears that this Knight of Pentacles is almost acting as a buffer. It, he is in place and honestly, um, Libras, I feel that this Knight of Pentacles is more an energy form as opposed to a physical earthbound person. It, it, if, you know, I'm looking at this and I really feel as if almost like you have special angels that have moved in and are surrounding you at a time where there seems to be some sadness in your life and they seem to be cocooning you and comforting you as best they can. This is going to lead you to a time of reevaluation. It's going to be a time of looking at your harvest, figuring out what kind of a legacy you want to leave or what kind of an impression you want to leave given a certain situation or area of your life. There's definitely a sense of um, ensuring that there's enough for now and putting aside some for later. It is looking at what you have incoming and ensuring that that is sufficient for the needs you have at this specific time and for the things that you want to accomplish. So there's kind of, it's a harvest card. It's a, it's a card of just examining your uh, financial states, your physical surroundings, and ensuring that 
you have in place what you want to have in place in terms of you know moving forward um, very much a card of almost like a squirrel squirreling away nuts you know making sure you have what you need for today and ensuring that you have what you need for tomorrow so there definitely might be some um, realigning going on some balancing um, a creation of perhaps a new budget but definitely a sense of um, a need to kind of get your affairs in order and the six of cups is talking about you know spending some time reflecting on the past perhaps you are looking back on memories perhaps you know it could be something as simple as, as going through an old photo album or looking at um, old you know videos memories that kind of thing it could be hearing from a friend from your past it could be spending some time in a happy state of, of you know remembering um, bringing forward happy and pleasant memories so it sounds like you've got um, a situation here where there has been a, a, a difficulty or kind of a stressful period and there is a pulling together an evaluation going on a reflection of what was past so I know what I'm moving towards in the future. I'm looking for perhaps some elements of my past to move forward with me into the future. And I'm looking for some elements of my past to be happy memories or even sad memories, but they stay in the past. So Libra, it sounds as if the month of May is going to be a month where there is some balancing, some sorting out some adjusting going on and but do remember that with this knight of pentacles here there really does seem to be a sense of you being protected and watched over you you were not kind of being you know uh thrown out and left to your own devices there's it, it sometimes it feels that way when things are hard and difficult but the energy and the feeling is that there really is a sense of protection watching over you and that you're going to come through this event or situation um, stronger and better and, and happier and with, with more clarity and insight. So, Libra, I wish you a happy and healthy May. I hope that this video has been helpful to those of you who have heard it and, and if so if you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe i very much hope that the messages i have get to the people who need to hear them so have a wonderful may and i will look forward to seeing you back here at soulprint intuitive tarot in the coming weeks and months Bye bye